Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Luke Lambert, who will be the crew chief for Noah Gregson and the nine team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for Junior Motorsports. How's it going? Going well. Thanks for having me on. Doing well. So I, I know, let's ask you this. I know that you've spent so many years in the Cup Series with, you know, with RCR, with, with Roush and all them. Now you're going to the Xfinity series. Is it kind? It, it, did it take some getting used to 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 do this since you've? It's been a while since you've not been a Cup Series crew chief. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's definitely going to be a change. One I'm looking forward to. I'm kind of excited about. Um, I, uh, you know, saw this as a as a pretty unique opportunity for me that that provides a lot of benefits. And um, really, what excited me most about it is just the. The potential of this program and the potential of Noah as a driver. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. It definitely is uh, is a change for me as far as relearning some of the processes and procedures of this car. But um, I think that uh, you know a lot of the fundamental basics are, are not no different. It's just a different process for getting there. So um, I, I'm looking forward to those those new changes and, and challenges. And um, I think we have a lot of potential to do great things. So that's that's really what was a big driving decision for me. I think. I think Noah has a lot of potential and, and I want to be a part of that. So what was it like, you know, first meeting Noah and, and doing all that? Because, you know, obviously Noah's got quite a personality and I know you've had your dealt with your fair share of drivers over the years, but what's that, what's it like getting to know with Noah? Um, yeah. You know, he's a, uh, he's a guy that likes to have fun. Um, I, uh, we met and had lunch together and hung out and just, you know, got to know each other, talked about our experiences together in the sport and talked about life in general. And, um, I feel like, uh, I feel like we kind of hit it off right at the, right at the get go, just enjoying talking about, um, you know, what we want to get out of our opportunities. And, um, I think that our ability to work together seems like it'll, it'll, it'll be good. Um, I think that, uh, he, he has a lot of the things that, that I, I think are, are great for a race car driver. He's got a, a very, uh, confident, carefree attitude. And, um, that was, uh, that was fun and refreshing to see. And, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, up to this point, we definitely are getting along really, really well. We've, we've certainly not been to the racetrack yet together and haven't got to really work on a race car together yet. But, um, I think that the things that I've seen and, and how I've gotten to know him so far, all have really good signs for, for his potential and, and what I think we could do together. Yeah. So, you know, getting used to these Xfinity cars, I know it's, uh, it's a different package than when the, to what the gen, what you were used to with the Gen Six. But how different are these cars compared to the Cup cars? Well, they're going to be significantly different than the, than the next gen stuff. But uh, you know, compared to the cars that that I've been working on, uh, the Cup cars of the last few years, there's a lot of differences. Um, but some of the things that are fundamentally similar are, are the tires, and and that's a big part of what we do is you know get the tires to do to optimize the setup to get the most out of the out of the tire performance um so the tires themselves are you know very similar almost the same at all the tracks what we've been running so a lot of that's similar trends um the cars themselves have a lot of the same characteristics but different little things about the cars make certain things sensitive that wouldn't be in in the cup cars the last few years and other things more sensitive that that um you know would be a difference there too so i think um it's just, it's just learning all the details, looking through all the information that we've got here. And that's what I've been working to get up to speed on. But um, the, the, the good thing is, is that Junior Motorsports has got a strong program. Um, this, this organization has worked really hard over the last number of years to do a good job of documenting their progress and uh, putting together the things you need to have a strong race team. So um, it makes the process of getting up to speed and learning all those things fun. And and the differences of the car are, are you know, are, are, are fun and exciting for me to be able to work on it. You know, I was in the Xfinity series uh, back in 2012. And so there were similarities going back that far, but there have been a lot of changes since then. I mean, the, the air package has changed a few times. The, um, the way the cars are constructed, the bodies are constructed is obviously way different going to composite bodies a few years back. So, um, you know, those are, are some big changes. And, and even when you look at, the cup cars I was working on last year versus these cars, the, the bodies themselves are probably one of the biggest changes because you can, you can do more with how you race the cars because they're so durable from a, 
from a driver in the seat standpoint, the cars hold up a lot better. And um, there's less for us to do as race teams on how we build and reinforce the, the panels that, that make up the race car. So um, it's, it's, you know, a lot of little differences, but at the end of the day, it's all chasing the same objectives. When, when you look at like pit crews and stuff, how, you know, differences, the cup cars are going to have single lug nuts. We're still having the five lug nuts in the Xfinity and truck series. How many of those guys, are you still going to use like cup crew, cup pit crews and all that stuff? Or are you going to have some new guys with you? Yeah, we're going to be using the same cup pit crews, very similar type layout to what it would have been last year. Um, the, the crew that's going to do our car is going to be the top level pit crew on Sunday. Um, those guys are going to be uh, getting reps in our car um, that don't necessarily correlate in all aspects as much as it would have in the past. Like you said, I mean, the, the stop is a lot different on that new car with a single lug, the shape, and just the perimeter of the car is a lot different. Um, and the way the timing of everything in that, that style pit stop changes what those guys have to do. So um, it will require them to make some adjustments, but you know, a lot of these guys have got so much experience with this five lug style pit stop that this, this part of doing a pit stop is like second nature to them. So um, it, it'll be in the cases where we've got really fresh up and coming guys that have just less experience in general that are doing cup stuff now, be a bigger adjustment for them when they're on our cars. But in a lot of cases, you've got seasoned veterans who've done this very similar style uh, pit stop to what we'll have on our Xfinity cars this year. So it's like old hat to them when they jump into it, but we're still working through that process and, and letting those guys get reps going from one style to the next, just to see how easy it is for them to make that adjustment from a muscle memory standpoint. But um, early signs are, that I, I don't expect that to be a, a big struggle for us. And I think that the, the, the pit crew that we have that's going to be working on our, our, our team is going to certainly be at the, at the top echelon of the sport. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, you know, it's been a while since you've been in the space. As you mentioned, you know, 2012 when you were with Elliot Sadler, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep. Going back to that, I mean, you got the, the series has changed. And now the series, this is, I think you're entering into probably, I think, one of the most competitive years in the Xfinity series is going to be. Um, there's even talks of, you know, possibly 50 cars going there. And, you know, there's, I think there's 41 um, confirmed right now. But, Really, what's it going to be like this year? Because this is going to be – its this series is quite competitive, just like really everyone, everything else. Yeah, no doubt. Um, it's going to be exciting. I think that the show that this series has put on over the last few years has just been getting better and better. Um, the way these cars race is phenomenal. It's, you know, it's really fun to watch. They're able to have a lot of contact. They're able to – contact each other and race each other really hard. They're able to brush off the wall and keep competing. Um, it's, it's a really good package for, for the fans and for you know, myself as a competitor to be a part of. I, I, I think it's going to put on, you know, as good a racing, if not better moving forward, you know, as, as you've got more competitive cars in this series this year. But um, that is one thing that you've certainly seen over the last number of years in, in the Xfinity series is the style racing that you see on the racetrack is a, is a really awesome product cars can really run close to each other and aggressively around each other and, and still keep competing all day, which um, I think is a big uh, product of the benefits you get from this composite body that we run and just the, the overall aero package and everything else that, that NASCAR has put together for this series. It, it's a, it's a good package and I, and more competition is only going to make it better. All right. Luke Lambert, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and uh, we'll see you at good luck at Daytona. Awesome. Thank you for having me.